Hello gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today we are celebrating halfway through the year, we're celebrating summer solstice. I also have my summer solstice subliminal, summer solstice meditation, and of course my mid-year review as well. So I'm gonna link all of that goodness in the description below so you can go and do your mid-year review and also dive deeper into the beautiful themes of summer solstice with me. But if you're new here to my channel, then welcome. My name is Emma. I'm an award-winning life coach, three times best-selling law of attraction author, manifestation YouTuber here on my channel, and I'm the host of the number one spirituality podcast on iTunes, Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast. And here on my channel, I cover all things law of attraction, manifestation, spirituality, and self-help. So not only do I really hope you're going to enjoy this video, but the abundance of videos here on my channel over the last 10 years. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, we are celebrating summer solstice. On Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024 at 9.50 p.m. UK time, we will experience the summer solstice, which is the lightest, brightest day of the year. It is the time of the year where we have the longest day, the longest sunshine and the shortest night. And of course, we're experiencing this in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then you're going to be celebrating winter solstice and I will link my winter solstice ritual below for you. We also experienced the powerful full moon in Capricorn on the 22nd of June, two days later as well. And just for anybody who's new to learning what summer solstice is, we have four key turning points throughout the year or transitional seasonal points. So on the 20th or 21st of March, we have the spring equinox. On the 20th or 21st of June, we have the summer summer solstice. On the 20th or 21st of September, we have the autumn equinox. And on the 20th or 21st of December, we have winter solstice. So these Celtic or pagan turning points of the year that have been celebrated by so many different religions and cultures over thousands of years, all basically celebrate the turning points of the season. So the summer solstice officially marks the beginning of summer and they're equally divided out by three months throughout the year. And we also have midpoints throughout those three months as well. So we had Beltane on the 1st of May and we'll have Lamas on the 1st of August. So you might be familiar with lots of people going to Stonehenge to watch the sunrise on the summer or winter solstice. Um, but summer solstice has been celebrated for literally thousands of years and all turning points of the seasons to mark that season and to celebrate and welcome in the new energies of that season. And the bittersweet part of summer solstice is that although summer is finally here and we can celebrate the longest day of the year, it also means we're making that descent back to winter. So it always feels bittersweet that we're celebrating the light we're celebrating summer, but we're also now journeying back towards winter from this point. But the main key themes of the summer solstice is celebration, joy, manifestation, and abundance. It is the sacred season of opportunity and also outwards energy. We're in the full expression of divine masculine energy now, which means we're gonna want to be outdoors more naturally because it's hopefully sunny um, and warm. So it means we're in that full outwards expression of manifestation and bringing things into our reality now. These three months, from now until autumn equinox, but even since Beltane on the 1st of May, are the fertile months. So these fertile months, as we watch in nature, you know, the trees coming back to life, the flowers really coming into bloom now, literally represents our manifestations coming into fruition as well. So these fertile months in nature are fertile months for us to bring our desires into reality. So over the next three months, we have some powerful manifestation portals coming up, which are literally supercharging. It is magnetizing our desires to us. So this summer solstice is the starting point of that officially, but we've kind of been experiencing it already. So don't let this energy go to waste. If there was any time of the year that I would say is the best time to manifest, now is that time. We're in those fertile months. All the work that we've been putting in since winter solstice, since December, is paying off now as we experience our desires in reality. The summer solstice also marks a brilliant time to sit down and reflect on your year so far to, you know, review and reset if need be, and also pivot. So make sure to go and do my mid-year review for that because it's really important that you have clarity on the next six months and where you're heading towards the winter solstice, but also so you can realign and take some inspired action if need be to really bring those desires into fruition and give them that energy they need now. A great way to celebrate the summer solstice is by getting out in nature. Go and enjoy the turning point of the season. Maybe that's an extended 
recommend a dog walk that you can go on or go into your favorite nature spot. If you can even do your summer solstice ritual in nature, then amazing. But if you can't, then just make sure to get outside and enjoy the summer solstice in whatever way you can. And getting outside allows us to ground and connect into the energy that we are moving into with the summer solstice. And I always feel like on the turning point, so the equinoxes and the solstice, the energy of the day can actually feel quite flat sometimes. So this is even more reason why it's important to ground in, connect to nature and be really deeply present. So if you haven't done your mid-year review already, then the summer solstice marks a great time to get your goals out from January that we set together, or you might have set um, a vision board, you might have created a vision board or created a goals list, whatever you did in January to set your intentions for 2024. I want you to pull these out now and go through them and see if they still feel in alignment to you, those goals. Do they still feel good? Do they still feel expansive? Is there anything that you want to change and up level? Or is there something that you actually don't feel cool to manifest again. This is so important that we do this at this mid-year point so we're not wasting our time uh, or having conflicting energy in our desires, in our vision boards. You know, we're clear on what we want and where we're going. And as we celebrate coming back into the light with summer solstice, this is the perfect time to reflect on our goals and bring the light back to those as well. Is there anywhere you need to shine some light on and give some love in your goals and manifestations? But the summer solstice also represents new beginnings, new abundance and new opportunities. So make sure that you are creating the space for those to flow into your life and you can be deeply intentional over these fertile months to bring those new opportunities, new energy and abundance into your world. And a great journaling prompt, I'm gonna give you some more at the end, but what I want to start you off with in your summer solstice ritual is what are you saying yes to right now? So the summer solstice energy is all about saying yes, but obviously to the things that feel in alignment, not just everything. So what are you saying yes to right now in your life? And journal upon this and explore. What are you saying yes to? What do you feel called to say yes to in this season of your life here in summer solstice? And of course, action this afterwards. And your next more practical journaling or intention setting is I want you to set some goals and intentions for the next three months. So you could go three months or six months. It's completely up to you and what you feel called and what feels right to you. But you could set your goals for the next three months to autumn equinox or for the next six months um, to the winter solstice. So in my mid-year review, I get you to set some intentions for the next six months. So if you did that, you might just wanna do the three months, but see which figure you feel called um, to focus on and set some beautiful intentions in this summer solstice portal. And you could write these down, you could do a little mini vision board, do whatever feels good to you. Personally for me, I love writing them down, but you might like to meditate with them and do a visualization. I actually do this in my summer solstice meditation. So maybe you even want to just do that meditation that I've linked below and that's intention setting. So that meditation will help you to sow the seeds and plant those intentions. But if you want to physically write them down as well, so you don't forget them, I highly recommend doing that too. And also think about what inner and outer season you're in right now. So of course, in our outer season, we're here, we're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're experiencing summer as we transition into that summer solstice energy. But we also have internal seasons as well. So the themes that our outer seasons reflect, we can also feel internally as well. So not always, will we be internally in our summer energy if we're experiencing the summer energy outwards? So for instance, we might be in summer, but internally you might feel in your inner winter, you might feel in your inner autumn. So listen to what inner season you feel you're in right now. Are you in that inner spring energy where you're coming back to life and you're starting to sow those intentions again? Are you in your inner summer where you're ready to get out there, you're ready to smash it, you're ready to manifest and bring those things in and that outwards masculine energy? All about manifestation. Are you in your inner winter where you're feeling the shedding, you're feeling that letting go? Or are you in your inner winter where you're hibernating, you're deep in that divine feminine inwards energy? There's no right or wrong with this and we can move through those seasons daily, hourly, monthly. It honestly depends what season of life we are in personally, but I want you to reflect upon what season of your life you feel in inwards as well. And we can use the powerful energy of summer solstice to supercharge our desires and raise our vibration too. So this is the perfect time to embrace that summer energy and let it light you up. Invite that light back into your life, into your soul, into your heart, and let the powerful energy of summer solstice light up your life in whatever way it needs to. And finally, remember we are in the collective year eight in numerology. So we have our personal year cycles and we 
also have the collective universal year. So universally we're experiencing the year eight, which in numerology means financial, money mindset, abundance of all kinds. So financial abundance and abundance and manifestation. So if there was ever a year to go after your goals and really bring them into fruition, this is the best year out of that year nine cycle to do so. So use this powerful summer solstice vortex energy portal to really supercharge yourself and your desires. So make sure to be clear on your desires and take action towards them because the universal energy is really, really supporting us this year to bring our desires into fruition. So if there was ever a season to go big, year eight and the summer is absolutely time to do so while we're in these fertile manifestation months. So your summer solstice ritual, I kind of have spoiled a little bit already <laughs> by saying some things earlier, but I will recap them for you. So the first thing you're going to do is review. So you're going to look through any vision boards, any goals, any lists that you set in January of your 2024 goals. You're going to go through these one by one and just tune in and see if they still feel in alignment to you. Sit with them, spend time with them and reflect upon them. Do you need to up level them? Do you need to get rid of them? Or do they still feel like a hell yes to you? Your second step in your summer solstice ritual is intention setting. So like I said, whether that's over the next three months to autumn equinox or six months to winter solstice, set some intentions, whether that's through my summer solstice meditation or writing them down in your notebook or journal, but set some powerful intentions for the next three or six months of what you would like to achieve or where you would like to be. How would you like to feel? And finally, a gratitude exercise. Celebrate those wins, celebrate. You know, the energy of summer solstice is all about celebration. So what can you celebrate? What are you celebrating in your life right now? What have you overcome or achieved in 2024 so far? There may be some really big, obvious physical wins, but count those emotional wins as well. Overcoming something, breaking a habit, all of those things are still hugely important and amazing to celebrate. So celebrate yourself and express that gratitude for what you've manifested so far this year and what you've achieved. And I finally have some prompts for you as well. I will put these in the description below for ease. So think about where can you step into your power and fully shine right now? Um, I've worded that way better in the <laughs> description, but think about how you can step into your power. Where are you not stepping into your power right now? And how can you fully let that beautiful energy of yours shine? This is all about what the summer solstice energy is about. So how can you shine and how can you step into your power more? And finally, what can you say yes to this summer? I touched upon that one a little bit earlier on, but what are you saying yes to? Start to action these and say yes to all of the things that you feel called to say yes to. Another great tip for the summer solstice is also to move your body, whether that's walking in nature, maybe doing some yoga outside if you can, or just yoga in general, maybe some meditation or some dance or whatever you wanna do. Maybe you wanna go for a jog, whatever way feels good to you. Moving your body with the summer solstice energy is really good. One, to move energy through, but also to embody and flow with that summer solstice energy. Cause like I said, it can feel quite flat on the day. So do move your body this summer solstice because the summer energy wants us to move with it. And finally, is there anything you can declutter or let go of? Because as we know, a summer solstice is all about new abundance, new opportunities, new energy. So the way that we invite that into our life is by letting go of anything that is no longer serving us. I did a video recently on emotionally, physically, and spiritually decluttering. I will link that below as well for you. So if you want any inspiration or ideas on how to do that, then make sure to go and watch that video. But if there's anything in your house or your garden or your space, or your work that you feel ready and called to let go of, create that space. Maybe it's something emotionally or spiritually you actually want to let go of. So by creating the space and letting go, I always feel around the summer solstice, all the turning points now of the year it seems, but especially around the summer solstice, I always felt that call to just declutter and change the energy in my home, shift the energy in my spaces. So it's really important we do that to invite that new energy in and shift. But there you have it. There is your summer solstice ritual and your summer solstice energy report. There isn't anything massively going on astrologically speaking. So I think we can all celebrate that. So I really just want to focus on the year eight numerology focus and really going big with our desires now because we've got Lionsgate on the 8th of August. We've got some incredible manifestation energy coming up over these next three months. So go big, set those intentions and use the energy of these powerful fertile months to really supercharge your amazing desires. 
is. So go out and enjoy the summer solstice on the 20th of June. Remember it's at 9.50 p.m. in UK time so you can work out the time conversion wherever you are. And don't panic if you do this ritual a couple of days before or a couple of days afterwards, it doesn't matter. The energy and portal of the summer solstice is there for quite a while. So don't panic if you can't do this on the 20th of June. You can do it a couple of days afterwards, couple of days before, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Enjoy it and have an amazing summer solstice whatever you are up to. But let me know how you get on with your summer solstice ritual. Let me know what you do below and how you feel for it and how you are celebrating yourself, but also summer solstice. And everything I've mentioned, including my summer solstice subliminal and my summer solstice meditation will be linked below for you with my mid-year review as well. But thank you so much, gorgeous souls, for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I replied to them all. And don't forget, you can also join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction, spirituality, and self-help. I hope you all have an amazing, blessed summer solstice and week, whatever you're up to. And I'll see you all in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love.